today we are going to be taking a quick look at this new 2024 honda crv this 2024 is the sixth generation and this is a compact crossover suv that is in direct competition with the toyota rav4 which is the best selling suv this crv is part of the best selling suv here in the united states because of how unique and amazing it is this is powered by a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that is paired with a continuous variable transmission called the cvt this gets about 190 horsepower for the non-hybrid and for the hybrid about 204 horsepower which i think is very impressive and all these get 179 pound feet of torque for mpg you get 40 miles per gallon in the city and 34 miles per gallon on the highway for the hybrid and for the non-hybrid you get 28 mpg in the city and up to 34 mpg on the highway with this you can easily tow up to 1500 pounds which is very impressive and for cargo space you get about 39.3 cubic feet behind the second row seat and up to 76.5 cubic feet when you fold the rear seat down this honda crv has a length of 185 inches a wheelbase of 106.3 inches a height of 66 to 0.1 to 66.5 inches a width of 73 inches and this comes in different trim level called the the lx ex sport hybrid exl sport l hybrid sport touring hybrid and for the lx which is the base trim level this start at thirty thousand one hundred dollars for the ex the second trim level that starts at thirty two thousand $350 for the Sport Hybrid $34,350 EXL starts at $35,000 the Sport L Hybrid starts at $37,350 and the highest trim level called the Sport Touring Hybrid starts at $40,800 which is this one that we are looking at at the New York International Auto Show but this one has the Honda performance package which costs a lot extra to actually get your Honda CRV to look like this one. For the base trim level, this comes equipped with a real time all wheel drive which is available but you can also get this in a front wheel drive standard. This is equipped with a 7 inch touch screen display for the front driver and you get a 60 40 split base seat on the rear the base trim level comes with cloth seat you get 17 inch wheels a full led headlight this also comes with a four speaker 160 watt audio system automatic climate control reclining folding down this 60 40 split rear seat this comes standard with apple carplay android auto bluetooth streaming audio front usb port 7 inch color touchscreen push start button and for safety this is equipped with collision mitigation braking system road departure mitigation system multi-angle rear view camera adaptive cruise control with low speed follow lane keeping assist system and traffic sign recognition for this sport touring which is the highest trim level this one comes with 19 inch black alloy wheels and this is the one that produces about 204 horsepower when you get the hybrid power train this also comes with a hands-free lift gate and you can get this with full-time all-wheel drive this has a hands-free access power tailgate which i have mentioned and a roof rails full led headlights dual exhaust finishers and in the interior you get leather trimmed seats with orange station and you get heated front seats one touch power moonroof both premium sound system power front seats with driver memory seat 
dual zone automatic climate control, reclining folding down 6040 split rear seat, heated leather wrap steering wheel for technology. This is equipped with wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, wireless phone charger, smart entry with walk away auto lock. For safety and security features, this comes equipped with collision mitigation braking system, road departure mitigation system, blind spot information system with cross traffic monitor, multi-angle rear view camera, adaptive cruise control with low speed follow, lane keeping assist system, traffic sign recognition and parking sensors. So which one of these Honda CRV do you think you will buy? Do you think you'll go for the base with a hybrid system or you will go for the mid tier trim level or the higher sport touring trim level with a hybrid system? For me, I will get a hybrid because of the cost of gasoline here in the United States. Please leave your comment in the comment section. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, and share this video. In the future, I'll be comparing this to the Honda Passport, which is one of the best compact crossover SUV. Thank you, and I will see you next time.